Hello, welcome to my TV's channel. So finally, the automatic T801 arrived. Both of them. I actually got a blue one and a red one. Just like a Pepsi bottle. Not like the Rolex Pepsi, that's two tone in the one watch. Now, this one is the Quartz 801 we reviewed before. Alright, look pretty much identical except this one said Quartz under the TV's logo. And this one say Automatic. And behind this one you have the standard steel back case and it's a lot more flatter and this one you have the clear right and it's um, they're both 801 okay now the red one is very bad because it's um, I think I the luck of the draw you see the date is a little bit on to the right that makes it not straight okay you can see the wheel inside or well, they cut the wheel too small so the white bit is missing okay and the black color on this is look more like gray not because of the plastic wrapper uh, because of how they brush it it's look gray so not really a good looking watch uh, despise the bright red dial so that's problem with it let's reveal this blue one this blue one is actually great I love my quartz one this one is automatic so we'll see how it keep the times it's probably not as good as the quartz I didn't unwrap it yet so they retail for about Uh, 1380 yuan right that's a Chinese yuan which is around uh, four or five baht yeah so that's around fifty dollars however let's talk about why this is so nice okay First, it have the Mercedes logo, much, uh, what they call it, uh, Mercedes arms, yeah? Can you see the Mercedes arm? Yeah? So you can see better, because it's not, not, the time is slightly, the minutes arm is not on it, alright? So this is the same for the quads, but it's not on the eight, two, three. And this one I have gold arms, but um, doesn't it's like the Mercedes, right? And this is a new model, eight two three F, which is combined the two. So they basically have um, the number on the middle on the top here but it's not arrived yet when that's arrived I will reveal that too this is nice with the Mercedes hand right this bezel actually works very good not much play at all and it is right on the 12 o'clock okay Right. So that's it guys, Mercedes arms, the Submariner replica, slightly bigger, slightly bigger than the real one, right, but that's, that's only 40 millimeters, oh, this is uh, from my Omega back in 98, I gave the watch to my brother, hmm. both of my brother, one my cousin. They took it because I bought it duty free, but um, they never returned it. And then they gave it to one of my chef's brother, who's uh, 
people cook for me at my restaurant. So, there we go, automatic. Oh, so shiny, you can see the camera. All right, but it's blocked my face, you can't see my face. Here we go, a little bit of my face. So shiny, the glass, right? So this is a Tavis automatic 801 with the Mercedes arms. The loom is all right, not great, but it gives you a couple of minutes just to say that they have looms. It's nothing like the eight hours on a Rolex. Right, now this is a little bit thicker because you have automatic, right? I didn't unwrap this one yet, it just arrived this morning, same price as the red one. All to this watch, same price. I don't know why on some website they, they put different price on them. Now this one, I got it from a guy in Melbourne. Uh, he charged me $30, free delivery. That's Australian dollars, so that's pretty damn cheap. Um, and it is running a bit late not the watch it's arrived a bit late suppose you came on Valentine's Day the red one I was gonna give to my wife um, but uh, it turned up uh, next Monday this one turned up to the house this one I had to pick it up from the local post office which is okay at least I have evidence that it's here so looks very good all right, thank you guys for watching. This is the Tavis 801 automatic, the homage of the Submariner, the bezel, everything great. This is the, the watch to get. But if you like a flat one and better timekeeping, try the quartz. The quartz, it's okay. All right, so identical beside the wording and different engine inside and the thickness okay and the back case one is clear and one is flat all right thank you for watching i better go now where's the hole for that let's put that back in here oh, this is from the rolex all right okay and that's the box it came in nice looking box so let's do unboxing so we can say oh so it's got all my tools and all the all the link i used to keep that in there all right thank you this is nearly eight minutes i wanted to only to be five so it'd be a quick review but i was yapping too much and the music was getting in the way bye